पंचायत मिनिस्टर मोविंद गुदिनो प्रेज स्टूडेंट्स एंड टीचर्स फॉर देयर डेडिकेशन एंड हार्ड वर्क टूवर्ड्स एजुकेशन ही वॉज स्पीकिंग ड्यूरिंग द प्राइज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ एनुअल फंक्शन ऑफ एम एस कॉलेज ही हैज सेट स्टूडेंट शूड फोकस ऑन देयर एजुकेशन चेक द स्टोरी But if you recollect and if you start thinking, which is the best part of your life when you are a student? I for one, even now I always think I am a student because one has to think you are a student. Keep on acquiring knowledge, keep on reading, keep on going on the net, keep on talking to people, keep on traveling. It's not only through the books that you learn. It's not only through what will be taught to you through the smart TV that you have to learn. You have to learn much more. Today is such a competitive world. With artificial intelligence coming to the fore, robotics coming in in a big way, what activity will be there for humans in the future? One wonders. With so much of technological advancement, one has to reboot oneself. One has to think differently. It is out of the box thinking, resultant in out of the box solutions that you need nowadays. And this is what you need to perform. Where can it happen? when you are dedicated when you are hard working remember one thing there is no substitute for hard work you have to work hard whichever field you go whatever you choose whether as a student whether as a employee whether as a as a entrepreneur whether as a politician whether a thorough professional ultimately one has to work hard and i would like to give the example of our own prime minister why has he achieved so much why is he moving so far i think he hardly sleeps 3 4 hours 20 for by 7 he never takes a holiday of course that may be an exception i wouldn't expect every one of you to be like that but what is of essence is you must dedicate yourself you must be focused you must keep a goal in front of you and that gives you that particular satisfaction of having achieved something of having moved on the right path of being on the road to doing something which will be good for you good for society good for your state and ultimately the country and the world at large this has to be the new thinking in you when you get all the lovely uh, inputs like i would again say the smart tv and your lovely band of uh, professors teachers striving to their very best they know they are molding young minds they know they are molding young people for the future to face life to move on with whatever profession they choose they know it's a big responsibility and they realize that and ms college has been one such institution which at least i am very proud of that i emerged i came out through this particular college which you all also should always be proud 50 years are being completed a golden golden jubilee year why is it not a golden moment for all of us can't you see how much the college has grown and everybody in goa is seeing this it's not only the vasquites or murmugao people are seeing today it is being recognized all over goa and perhaps in the country i am waiting then i am waiting for that moment after we are in the golden jubilee year for that particular gradation of those particular authorities that one day this would really be thoroughly the best college ever in entire goa and the state and i want the management i want the teachers and the student as well to work together in tandem towards them as an alumni as a past student whatever i could contribute i will always be there and i am always there in fact today they are at a very important party function which they asked me to attend without fail i said no they gave me three dates and it is i who chose that date i never miss my college function unless really uh, it is uh, so uh, very uh, you know, so much very impossible so that's how i am here i love to be here i love to see young minds because you are the future please remember that you would shape the destiny and you have a very big challenge perhaps more than what we face why because the world is changing why 
the technology is changing. Why? The way you do things, they are changing. Why? The whole sum total of how actually we will live life is changing. As I just gave you two examples of artificial intelligence, robotics and various other things, biosciences and so many other things. It is a fast changing world. Learn to adapt. Learn to change. Learn to give hard work. Learn to give your best. It's only then that you will really march forward and make the institution proud, yourself proud, all of us proud and our country proud. That is what is necessary. That is the spirit which is necessary. I wish all the students who have received the prizes all the very best. I hope that will propel you. It may be a small token of having coming and received it for me. But that propels anyone. It's a recognition. Yes, you have done well. It's not that the others have not done well. It's also an invitation to others. Yes, you also do well. You also try to get your best out of you. If not at this stage, there are various stages, various steps in life. But the best step, of course, as I say, is being a student. That's the time you meet, you interact, you learn, you try to assimilate knowledge, you are, you are full of fun. That is what is necessary. And remember one thing, lastly, what I want to say. It's not only academics, it matters. Extracurricular activities, besides the normal thing that you are supposed to do, it always matters. That builds up that extra thing in you. Because academics, when you are sent, naturally you try to get the highest percentage. You will study well, you want to do well. That is the normal thing. It is that something special which comes through those extracurricular activities. And you are looking at the presentation which was given here, looking at the prizes that you won. You are doing exceptionally well. Why don't take it at the next level? You have to move from the next to the next level. That is what we have to move in life. Having said this, once again, I wish the management all the best. Uh, uh, wishing the students all the best. This success is also with the help of all of you in the government. I must mention this. That probably he said something about the teachers. We are very fortunate we grow up where the education policy of this government is true to the core. There have been institutions in a lot of where the teachers don't really exist, but they show them on the payroll. There are students which are not existing, and the teachers don't get the full salary that the government promises. There's something very again interesting, more for the people on the press. In the entire COVID period, everybody delayed everything. Everybody said, uh, COVID Even if when I went to my uh, tailor who had put my uh, pocket from here to here, I said, What is the problem? He said, COVID ki <laughs> So everybody was giving COVID as a. But the teachers in all education institutions in Goa received their salary exactly on 1st of every month from any COVID time to the best of the time. This is the achievement of the government of Goa. They ensure that the teachers are taken care of first. I am told many times, you must be, you people come out with this, the municipalities have not been paid their salary, <laughs> the Mahmoudita <laughs> office has not been paid their salary. If all the government was to take you as a government employee, Probably you would not have. But it's a respect for the teachers. And a government that respects the teachers is the best of the government that exists in the nation.